Hey guys, so I know what kinds of things you want to see. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey everybody, just a little while ago I uh, did a video on this Oscision Tangara set and uh, I um, just went through a little bit about how I set up the decoder, put a speaker in here, and then ran it around for you a little bit. Um, but what happened was is I didn't move the wires over to the DCC slots and didn't know about that until I actually watched another video on here. So that video is from Australia and I don't want to steal the thunder from that because it's actually a pretty good video, but I thought I could go ahead and do this a little bit more quickly. I was going to pull the shell off of my Tangar to replace my lock sound decoder with a Soundtracks one for a lot of different reasons. The chip shortage right now is making it difficult to find 21 pin lock sound, so I wanted the lock sound out of this one so I could use it in a different application. But I am able to get 21 pin Soundtrack Tsunami 2 electrics, so that's what I did. I figure I could just give this to you really quick and uh, yeah, hopefully that'll help you out. All right, after you go through the ordeal of taking the shell off, and good God, I hate taking the shell off of this thing, here's what you're gonna to wanna to look for. It's towards the seats in the rear, and there are basically two rows that you're looking for here, and one of them won't have anything in them, and there are connectors on two sides that we have to worry about, as pointed out here. Okay, here I've already moved over the cables. If you noticed in the other one, it said DCC, and the one that you're moving from says DC. So you're just going to want to move these two um, cables over from DC to DCC, and that's all you need to do. If you have a soundtracks or a lock sound or something else that has sound, you can plug into the speaker port here. Now, actually, I didn't have a uh, two-pin connector that was this small, so I actually soldered um, leads directly onto the Soundtracks uh, board itself. Locksound has the two wires coming directly off of these, but if you want to solder them directly on, then just use this diagram and be careful while you do it. Okay, if you're using a Soundtracks decoder, this is what you're going to get. Function key 24, which is FX3, will give you these uh, marker lights. Function key 25, which is FX4, will give you these rear red marker lights. Function key 26, which is FX5, will give you the ditch lights. And last but not least, F27, which is FX6, will give you the guard indicator light here. But something to be careful of, if you want the front lights to light up when going forward and the rear marker lights to light up when going reverse, you can't just leave things like this. You've actually got to go in and change two more CV settings in order for this to work. Otherwise, all the lights are going to be on all the time, and that's not what you want. So if you go into reverse, all the front stuff will be on and the rear stuff and vice versa. So um, here's how to handle that. What you want to do is go in and edit CV values 57 and 58. 57 handles what happens when the train is running forwards, and 58 handles what happens when the train is running in reverse. And all you do is change CV value 57 to 55 and CV 58 to 8, and that'll make sure to turn on and off the proper lights for, you know, depending on which way the train is running. Now those values I just gave you were for having the guard light on when it's running forward and off when it's running in reverse. But I provided um, CV values here if you want to have the guard off while running forward and the guard light on while running backwards. So just use those. Okay, so there you have it. I was hoping to get you this information pretty quickly so that you could make the conversion from DCC to DCC pretty easily. At least once you got the once you got the shell off, which is the worst thing in the world, as far as I know. As I imagine hell to be a place where you have to take off this shell all day, every day, and not make a single scratch. And if you do make a scratch, then you're punished to a second eternity of doing this. I don't know. Okay. 
I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know what you think. Be sure to comment. And uh, hey, it really helps me out if you subscribe and hit the notification button. And I will try to get more interesting videos to you out as soon as I can. So thanks for watching. Take care and I'll talk to you later.